First, let's edit our save options. Head to File and move your cursor to the Save Scene option. You'll see a small checkbox by Save Scene. Notice that Maya normally has these checkboxes by her menu options. When clicked, these checkboxes open up pop-up menus that lead to additional settings. So let's go ahead and click on the checkbox beside the Save As option. This gives us instant access to additional save settings. You'll want to turn on incremental saves. What this does is that it creates a backup of your file every time you hit save. You may have seen this before if you use Revit because it is enabled by default in Revit. You could have a file named house.rvt and Revit creates various versions of the file each time you save. So you'll have, for example, house.0001, house.0002 and so on. The same thing applies to Maya. This is a very important step because Maya crashes a lot, especially during rendering sessions. So you'll want to keep this on in case Maya crashes during a save. I've actually had this happen to me before and my save file got corrupted, so I lost about a week's worth of work. You do not want that to happen to you. Trust me. Incremental saves also help when you've made a mistake on your main file and for some reason undo doesn't work. Then you can go back to the old backup and work from there. You can decide to limit the autosaves. I do this to save memory and because I don't fancy manually deleting house point 1000 from my computer. The second thing we want to do is load V-Ray into Maya. I am assuming at this point you've already installed and activated V-Ray for Maya, so I'm not going to get into that. Go to the window tab and hover over settings and preferences. Then move to plugin manager and click it. As the name suggests, this is where you will load and unload all installed Maya plugins, including V-Ray. Let's scroll over to the V-Ray section and load up V-Ray. You'll want to enable autoload, so you won't have to repeat this process every time you start up Maya. If you ever run into a problem with one of the other plugins, say for some reason you can't import FBX files without Maya crashing, you'll first want to come and check in the plugin manager if the associated plugins are loaded, before you start troubleshooting. Now, let's edit our preferences. Go to the Window tab, scroll down to Settings and Preferences again, and this time click Preferences. We see a lot of settings that we can adjust in the pop-up menu, but because we are mostly concerned with ArcVis, we're probably not going to use about 90% of this. In the Settings tab, we can edit the units of our projects. Here you can match your project units to the units of the imported file. You can also change the frame rate if you are doing an animated walkthrough. Unless it's an extremely short video with a small amount of assets, I personally do not recommend using Maya for architectural walkthroughs unless you have like a render farm at hand and if you do, go ahead and use it. I'm not stopping you. But my reasoning is that V-Ray for Maya animations take a long time to render, so you are better off using Unreal Engine as it has real-time ray tracing or you could wait until Epic Games beefs up Twin Motion and use that instead. Now scroll down and look for undo. You want to set the undo queue to infinite. The default is actually 50 undos and you may think that's a pretty big number but you'll be surprised by how quickly you blow through the 50. Just to be safe, make it infinite and save yourself some trouble. Next, scroll up to file and project and enable autosave. I like to enable prompts before autosave because during renders, Maya actually freezes and saves the file before the rendering continues. Maya has crashed during this process a couple of times when I dealt with huge files that took long to save. With this enabled, I only save when I'm doing actual work. You can decide to do whatever you want to do. You can set your preferred autosave interval. I like to set it at 15 minutes. Mostly, this depends on how much work you can get done in that time that is not worth losing. Just like with the incremental save, you are allowed to limit your autosaves. I don't limit mine, but frankly, it's up to you. You'll want to keep this on, especially when you have a lot of texture files which you undoubtedly will, so you won't have to keep reloading them into the project. Finally, head over to the rendering tab and set V-Ray as your default renderer so you won't have to switch from Maya software every time you boot up Maya. 